Good morning and welcome to another video from Taiwan. We are here in sunny Kaohsiung. We arrived yesterday by train and explored the harbour. But today we're going to delve a little bit deeper into Kaohsiung and explore more of what makes Kaohsiung so special and why you should add it to your list to visit. I'm stood in front of the gateway to the docks. Obviously, like I said yesterday, we explored the docks, but it's an amazing area. Really, really learned so much. So if you haven't watched that, check it out. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet for the intro. We've got a full pack day and I think we need to get going. And I'm hungry. And Graham is hungry, so be aware. Let's go! So we stopped at the Dream Mall. We haven't been in a mall since we've been in Taiwan. So we want to get a little feel of what the shopping's like. Well, Theodora does anyway. Coming along this kind of like tram, we saw loads of cool buildings. One of the buildings that you can probably see now is was one of the biggest buildings in Taiwan. However, when Taipei was building the 101 Tower building, which is now the tallest tower, there had to beat the amount of floors here in Kaohsiung. So this is 85 floors and the one obviously 101 in Taipei is 101 floors. Anyway, let's get inside because I'm still hangry and yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, unless my eyes are deceiving me, there's a Ferris wheel on top of the mall. That's really weird, so we gotta go check that out. Well, it's definitely Christmas time. It's only the beginning yeah. of November, but look, they've got all the Christmas decorations up already. I love it. We've seen H&M, we've seen Ralph Lauren. Is the food court there? And uh, the food court, the most important part. Okay, we have skipped across the town and we are now at the Lotus Lake. Look at this view behind us guys. We don't know much about this place, but we did see it online. Yes. And we've come for a tour, a free walking tour with uh, Like It Formosa. Yes. And you can probably see what a drone for is because we just put the drone up around the corner. There's like some mad statues or I don't know what Temple they are. We're going to find statues. out. Temples. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's amazing. And even a better thing, there's a whole wakeboarding thing here, which I could redo really with because it's stinking, stinking hot. From what I can see, I see wakeboarding. I see lilies. I see, you know, those dragon boats, like yeah, the yeah, long yeah. dragon boats. Oh, yeah, there's there. kids learning to sail on this lake. And we're in the middle of the city. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's so cool. Anyway, the tour's about to start, so we need to get going. Yeah, and we're going to bring all the finest facts so hit that thumbs up right now if you're liking the view that we're in so far. Guys, we have a special guest. It is Ellie the Wandering Queen, blogger, YouTuber, travel <laughs> influencer, Say hi. Hello guys. <laughs> she is fresh of Pakistan. She has been traveling all around Taiwan. So check out her YouTube channel, her Instagram. I'm gonna leave it all below because she is covering Taiwan, yeah. the entire world basically. <laughs> so go and do that right now. What do you think of Taiwan so far? I love it. It's just so, so fun. And it's so easy as well. Like it's way easier than what I thought. Like totally. I just love it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mind you, bubble tea. Love it. Straight in the it's game. Gone. Boom, that's it, <laughs> done. So Ellie is joining us on the fabulous Like It Formosa free walking tour. We're outside one of the most iconic sites here in Kaohsiung. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna learn all about the facts, the figures, a house and the whys. So I think, let's get going. Let's go. Let's go. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky. Following our hearts, so then we take a ride wherever. I always try to let my spirit fly, fly away. 
That's the only way to get that high, high, always. Okay, we're gonna go into the dragon, which is good fortune, and then we're gonna go out, we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go out of the tiger, which basically means leaving all your fears behind because it's scary. Anyway, we were just in the temple, and the guy that was uh, helping Theodora doing her blessings had cancer and two years ago, and he did these blessings daily, and now the cancer's gone. So Theodora hopefully is in full health. Anyway, it's time to go inside the dragon. Just about to enter the tiger's ass. Here's what I like. Jumping from a roof that is almost too high. Behind us is Bishi. Now we actually already met one of the nine sons of the dragon in Jofen. Do you remember when I uh, did like a blessing in the turtle pond? Now so it turns out that the dragon's got nine sons and this is one of his sons that is a cross between the turtle and the dragon. He is known to carry heavy things, fortune. So whenever you have gone in the dragon's mouth, out of the tiger's mouth, are totally cleansed of any negativity, that's the perfect point to touch the fortune and get blessed or welcome it into your life. But you gotta go through the tiger's ass out of the mouth. Yeah, you gotta you go through the tiger's ass out of its mouth and you're good to go. Touch the fortune, boom, go across the street like I did, praying for your health. Tick, tick, tick. We're in another temple and we have found another son of the nine sons of the dragon. This one is crossed with a lion and a dragon. And you see there's two of them on top of the incense burner. There's another, do you see him sat here, on the side of this incense burner. And basically they're called Swan Ni. And Swan Ni doesn't carry treasure on his back, but they like to play with smoke and fire. And that's why they're on the incense burners. Theodora's finest facts, obviously supplied by Like It Formosa. Right opposite the temple, we have a turtle pond. They like to use turtles because A, they are good fortune and good luck, and B, it means longevity. Instead of putting fish in there, that hasn't really got any meaning. They die, you replace them. These turtles, if we come back in 20 years, our favorite turtles. They'll still be there. They'll be here. But people kept bringing them here and like they've become overpopulated. So there's literally <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of them in here. Yeah. So they had to stop people doing it. Now, obviously there's too many of them, so you can adopt them, but you have to go inside, chuck, what do they call them? The moonstones. The moonstones. Ask the gods, basically. Ask the gods. Yeah. And if you get an answer for yes, then you can jump in, take one, and go home with it. And then you have a blessed turtle at home. I mean, it's pretty awesome. But she says that the moonstones don't often say yes, so. Let's go for it, let's take one home. We are looking at the biggest water statue in Asia. He is mighty fine, he's got a big old sword, he's got lots of lights on his head right now. Oh, I know. And a beautiful beard. <laughs> Graham is still sore about his beard. Yeah, I'm still not allowed to grow a beard for any of you that are still kind of like watching from many, many months ago, many years ago. I'm still not allowed a beard. Okay, that was the end of the tour, and now we've come to a street market. Ellie's brought us here. Where are we? We are at Rue 
Rifeng Street Market. I think this is probably one of the biggest ones in Kaohsiung and it's really good because it's like in a car park so there's no traffic once you're inside and there's so much food. Oh, we are starving. Let's do it. Um, like we couldn't try it, but Ellie has convinced us to try it when you guys. So we're gonna do it. We're getting the fried version, which it looks good. We've got the stinky tofu. I don't really want to do it, but ladies first, huh? That'd it's probably really hot. hot. <laughs> smells alright. I did get a little bit of a waft. Mm. <laughs> We've mastered with sweet chilli sauce, mm. but... In the back, you do... Yeah, in the back. You do... Like the, the aroma releases. It's not yeah. as bad as a foil would be. No. no. This is the mild version and maybe you guys need to go on to the real thing no. now. We don't need to. <laughs> we've done PG because we've got batter and chilli sauce. Yeah, I feel like we've got that. Oh. I could eat it but... Yeah. I could actually eat this. this yeah, ball. I could. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to. That's what you, you do. Know. You smell it. <laughs> Yeah, in your throat. Yeah. Well, the rest is for you. <laughs> happy happy right. birthday. <laughs> like, no, babe. Oh, what do you want, babe? Dragon fruit? Okay. Two passion fruit, one dragon fruit. So we've come across these kind of like jelly balls that look really, really cool and interesting. All right, let's go for it. Is it, is it soft? Oh, it's actually oh. jelly ball. So it's actually really soft and it's actually oh. like jelly. They look so pretty. Yeah. It's literally just a jelly with fruit inside. My verdict is very refreshing, a little sweet, yeah, nice, good. feels healthy. Yeah, apart from the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Fruits are healthy. So guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Like It For Mosa with partnering with us on this video. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button, give it a like and let us know in the comments, do you want to try stinky tofu? We're going to go on to the next video. We'll see you soon. My favourite temple of the day. Look at this fella. Look at that sword. What a beauty. This place is insane, guys. We've got temples everywhere. We've got statues. We've got Theodora on the camera, finally, building the guns up. <laughs>